This is what I've been wondering about. Are there actually still gyms and like a Nexomon League and stuff like that? I feel like there aren't because the story seems pretty intense about like taking down the tyrants and all that. Uh, and they said that there's not that many cities. So I'm guessing that there's not going to be like gyms and all that, but maybe. The fate of the world is on our shoulders, the usual. Alzar, huh? So many grand tales about this fella. And yet, look at our sad world. Is this it? Is this his legacy? Alzar, was that the main character from the first game? Or was it his Nexomon? I think that's actually the thing that he fights. Yeah, Omnicron. So maybe Olzar was the official name of the, the, the protagonist from the first game. I'm not quite here to pray. We've already met the man. We don't need to... Well, I mean, he was pretty ghostly. Maybe prayers actually do help him somehow. I don't know. Uh-oh. Got some history lesson. The legendary Olzar defeated Omnicron over 2,000 years ago. 2,000? Wait, I thought it was 100 years ago. What the heck, man? The terrible king of monsters sought to obliterate all of humanity, but his reasons were never understood. Is that it? Is it just me or does our character kind of look like he's cosplaying a Zashian? Or like he would be the partner of a Zashian? We got like the pink scarf and like the golden highlights plus blue in there too. I don't know, it does look like we got like a Zashian inspired outfit on. Oh, look at that, you've got a pickaxe. I guess you know your stuff. Yes, we do. What can we do with those shards we've been picking up though? Be careful out there, Para may be beautiful, but our city stands in the middle of a dying world. Okay, let's go in here. I think it said this was the research lab. Except there's no one in here, are you kidding me? Come on, dude. Or wait, maybe it was actually to the left. And this is just some random person's house. We just stole his Nexo traps. That's why you don't leave anything lying around. But what is this? What's up, buddy? Never seen a ghost before. I'll get used to it. Spirit like myself are pretty common throughout the world. I used to live here many centuries ago. We had a gym right here. Omicron himself destroyed it. It really is the ghost of... Well, I guess not Muhammad Ali. I think... He wasn't bald. I used to be a tamer just like you, but when the tyrants started getting more and more hostile, I decided to call it quits. You've got it rough, my child. <laughs> what the heck? What's up with this? I want to see this person's face. Oh, that thing. It's a warp stone. With them, you can travel super fast across the land, but they require lots of energy. So only silver tamers are allowed to use them. Wow. The professor just said that we're barely bronze badge, so it's going to take us a while probably to be able to use those warp stones. Yeah, I'm not going to read all of the dialogue, dude. It's way too much going on right now. Uh, but let's head on over to the guild then. Since I'm kind of over the reading, we might as well read at least what's important. I think it was this, right? This lady's too busy for us, so whatever. Let's head inside the building. And we've got the guild master. Who the heck are you? What are you doing in my house? Wait, this is a house? Oh my gosh. What the heck? That lady just beat us up? Um, Orange? Why are you entering people's homes? That's messed up. <laughs> We're nobodies. Of course they won't trust us. Maybe if we had a silver badge or better, the citizens would be more comfortable around us. Yo. <laughs> Another call out to Pokemon right there where they just let you wander into anybody's house. That's actually kind of cool. Did we get shot? I don't know what just happened. Sounded like we did though. Hush now. I've got a lot of quests to do. If you're like me, the adventure log menu will be your best friend to track down them quests. All right, Mr. Silent type. Not really. He did talk to us after all. Uh, I guess we can't talk to grandma though, but we can head into this house and probably get kicked out again. <laughs> whoa, 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 who are you supposed to be? Oh my gosh. Why don't these people lock their doors then? Come on, man. Oh, someone sensible finally locks their door. That's what I don't get. If they don't want us in their house, why don't they just lock their door, man? Are you tamer as well? Here's a tip, buddy. Stock up. 
I like how all of the people actually look slightly different from each other too. Like, even though Pokemon games have advanced graphically, still like half of the trainers in the game use the same sprites. Like, you know, every ace trainer looks exactly the same. Every like, uh, Hex Maniac has the same sprite, you know? In this game, it feels like everyone has a unique look to them, which is definitely nice. Uh, this guy's talking about EXP boosters. I have one. I'll be happy to trade it for some stuff if you want. He wants some Mind Shard, Stone Shard, Potions, and Ethers. I think we actually do have all of that, so let's do it. And we get an EXP booster, which will definitely make trading a little bit easier. What do you got for us, man? Another trade, probably? 500 coins for a wind whistle and the secret sauce? Man's got the sauce! Come to my hometown, the Immortal Citadel. Don't be shy. My sisters can brew the highest quality potions in the whole world! To prove it, I'll let you have some for a super low price this time. Oh, sure. Good thing we stocked up on money before we came here, man. Because we've gotten quite a lot of stuff for it. The guild has spent centuries trying to develop new weapons to fight against the tyrants. I heard that one such weapon is inside this building, but access is restricted to guild tamers only. Oh, so this is the guild. Oh my god, this place is huge! What is this, though? What the heck? Oh, that's cool. I was wondering why they were so small. What?! That's the weapon? It's a giant robot? All systems green. Prepare for deployment. The tyrants won't wait. Bro, this is sick. We got Pacific Rim out here. When the Kaiju show up, there's no choice but to use giant robots against them, huh? Oh, this guy definitely looks important. Probably the head scientist or something. Behold, this is the Nexor Series B04. Nexomon are obsolete. We will decimate the tyrants with the power of science. We got a little Dr. Stone out here. Or maybe more like, uh... I don't know what the guy from Evangelion is. I forget his name. Shinji or something like that, right? I've only ever seen it once. And I didn't finish it either, but I definitely should. I know Evangelion's like a classic. Speaking of Gundam, did you know that the Gundam in Japan can actually move now? Really? That's sick, dude. I've never been to Japan yet, but... I mean, that makes it even more hype when I finally go to check that out. Oh, hey, this old man doesn't kick us out of his house. How nice. A Teva, aren't you? May Oza look after you on your adventure. Cool. Let me just uh, slide in and steal this ether real quick. Bald ass head. I shouldn't make fun of him. That's going to be me one day, dude. If I'm not mistaken, there are roughly nine caves with mysterious treasure vaults inside. I don't know much about their origins, but I guess some really rich guy hit his fortune in those locations. Cool. We actually did get a vault key from that one ghost girl or whatever. We get a discount voucher now. What's up with you, man? It must be weird to just have people barging into your room randomly. I half expected a Nexomon to pop out of the TV there, but... What am I thinking, man? This ain't no Rotom. Read her dialogue. Wait, which one? I'm confused which person we were supposed to keep talking to. The next story is nearly complete. Countless years of anime research have led to this very moment. Okay, that's definitely what you wanted me to read, huh? <laughs> it wasn't even important to the story. Y'all just wanted to see the anime reference. I love it. All right, let's head on to the guild then. Or actually, should we explore the research area? What the heck is this? <laughs> Look at that, you got a pickaxe. Oh, we already talked to this guy. I didn't notice he was so, like, burly and buff. But I think over here is the, the research center. The synthesis center. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Follow this road to the north. You'll see a plaza full of nerds. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, we've been in Minecraft, dude. We got our pickaxe. Going side to side. Oh, so I guess some character models repeat, but there's definitely more unique ones than in Pokemon, which is crazy because Pokemon's been around for years and years. They're on like the eighth generation, dude. This is literally only Gen 2 of Nexomon. And already like every character looks kind of unique. All right, let's go find that bunch of nerds though, because I'm pretty sure we can use our shards to make some... Uh... Whoa, this person looks like a main character right here. The guild relies on the research district. Okay. 
I guess she's not a main character. Elemental shards have the most fantastic properties for research. Every scientist is in dire need for them. You're an adventurer, yes? Well, I'm a generous patron. Let's strike a good deal. What do you got for me, buddy? Ah, uh, for five of each of the shards, he will give us a dragon whistle, apparently. Unfortunately, we don't have that many shards yet. Uh, but we can always come back for that later. Yo, we got the Arab man out here. What? This place? It's all right, I guess. The guild loves its fancy weapons, but in Lateria, we like old school methods to fight the tyrants with our bare hands <laughs> and massive cannons. Nice. Did you know that the floating Drake Isles was created by our scientists? I think that's by far the greatest achievement of the guild. Okay. I really don't know why I keep reading all these people's dialogues. Unless they have, oh my god. It's because they look so unique, dude. Like, this guy also looks like a main character. I can't help but want to read everything, even if they don't have anything important or interesting to say. We got more spirits out here. And uh, Polly Pocket. She's not even scared of the ghosts. I guess I wouldn't be either if it was a normal thing. It would still be kind of weird, though. Like, imagine ghosts were actually, like, not just real, but... I mean, I guess I kind of believe in ghosts or spirits, but... Imagine if they were just, like, regular, like... I don't know, the freaking ghost was just standing right serious? here... Doing the scream with me. Just chilling. Sometimes I wonder if that was Hilda's plan to protect the Citadel. Uh, does anyone in here have any quests for us? Ah, this man has a golden star! I used to love getting those in kindergarten. Did you know that today's Nexomon are quite different from those thousands of years ago? Wouldn't it be amazing if we could somehow bring them back? Did you guys clone them? Perhaps you'd like to check him out. How about a quick battle? I used to be a pretty good tamer back in the day. Let's do it, man. I'll check him out. Maybe these are like the fossil Nexomons out here. Oh my god. That thing looks badass, but it's at level 9 though, so I don't even know if we're going to be able to beat it. Especially considering we forgot to heal up. That's not good. Oh yeah, that dude totally did look like Star-Lord. I didn't even put one and one together. It really did look like him. Wait, I just realized something too. The fire attack that we use literally makes the Japanese fire symbol like Fire Blast does in Pokemon. That's really cool. Oh my god, switching it out to the Hyphoon! Bruh, there's no way we're going to beat this guy. We're going to lose our first battle. Oh my god, and he used Pursuit too? Wait, why didn't it let us switch out? What the heck? Is there a Jamba Juice in this game? I hope so, man, because we're getting juiced right now. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, I wish there was a way we could just end off the battle, because I know that we're going to lose. So, like, what's even the point of trying... I guess for the sake of... Oh my god! Devet! I just noticed, I don't think Nexomon actually have genders either. Like the Mons themselves. I think we actually could have maybe won that battle if we healed up, but I didn't want to waste my healing items. Uh, I hope we didn't lose any eight, er, money for that though. Alright, let's finally go check out the guild then. Here we are, friends! What's up, Casey? And Max Z Mud. Thank you, man. Munch and forgetting to heal up. Never change. Except maybe try to heal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> ah, I'm terrible, man. But welcome to the Tamer's Guild. We got Young Red and Bianca out here. Hey, rookie, come by the Frozen Tundra when you become stronger. What? The Crown Tundra? Spoilers, man. You must watch your step in the Outlands. Please use these coins and get some supplies. Oh, hey, maybe it is worth it to talk to every NPC because we just got some free coins from that girl. Don't be afraid to explore other regions to find Nexomon of every element. That way you'll be ready for anything. Oh, so Palmaya is like a completely different region, huh? We could have literally booked it and took a ferry there already, but... I decided not to since it seemed like more important to... Advance the story for now. Uh, I have not seen the Pokemon cards physics, but I'll check them out later. It's pretty crowded in here. We wouldn't stand a chance fighting against the tyrants otherwise. I still don't know what a tyrant is. <laughs> How do we know and this man still doesn't? 
let's go and get our badges. Come on. All right, Ross. He's just got dragons on the brain. He ain't got time to focus on anything else. Wait, we really have two deaths already? I thought we don't. Th this was our first loss. Oh, it's you. The kids Emily told me about. Welcome to the guild. I'm the regional administrator. Let's see now. Anyone with a Nexamon companion is entitled to become a bronze tamer. Our standards are pretty low. Are you always like this? <laughs> Take this badge and carry it with pride. Congratulations! I really like the fact that we can see a real expression on the characters' faces. They ain't just smiling regardless of like what's happening. Um what are you doing? People are staring. <laughs> and moments like this. This has got to be like my favorite part. Come back. Come on, please. Is Coco not a tamer? Is it literally just a talking cat? Okay, don't do that ever again, Orange. Damn. Calling out Pokemon for the corniness too. Come on. I mean, I still like that about Pokemon games, to be honest. But as guild masters, or I mean tamers... I shall assign a fitting task to each of you. We're not going to work together? Some difficult missions require teamwork, but bronze teamers are given simpler jobs. Work hard and you might acquire the superior silver badge or gold badge. For now, come to me when you're ready for your first assignment. Hey, we're ready right now. Let's get it. Tutorial? What? Wait, we already know this. We literally figured this out on our own. Characters with a star have something important for us. We got another edgy Star-Lord wannabe over here. Oh, another guild tamer. <laughs> Why bother? Why not join us at Lateria instead? Param has way too many rules. It's so boring. Yeah, wherever this guy's from looks like a cool region. I hope we can get to dress up our character later on. Even though I like our little Zashian-inspired outfit. It'd be cool if we can, like, dress up later. Or, like, customize our hair and stuff. Uh, many, many spirits, lots of curious people. You should come visit us. Hmm. These people look like they came straight out of Demon Slayer. My home village is the Drake Isles. Produces the highest quality Nexo traps. You will absolutely want to visit us if you're eager to catch rare Nexomon. I mean, I'm down. Probably some rare Demon Slayer-like mons over there. What's up, Raverus? I definitely like the game so far, man. Would recommend. 10 out of 10. I mean, just look at this lady right here. Oh, wait, you guys can't see her because my webcam, but yeah, she kind of looks like peeved off, which is nice considering in Pokemon, every NPC always just smiles. Like they actually got some expression out here so you can tell that like she is not into her job at all. Hello, Orange. Are you ready for your first assignment? Amelia is eager to show you the ropes. Yes, very well. Please come to the meeting room. Hey, air fail, what's good? No worries, man. The game definitely looks cool, but I'm glad you made it, even if you're late, bruh. Who are these losers? What? Just call this a loser? To our face? I mean, these tamers are Orange and Coco. They will take on your job request, bruh. The, the professor accidentally called us a loser too. Are you serious? I just saw them getting their badge five minutes ago! Huh? She's got a point there. The entire lake was frozen. There's a bunch of rabid Nexomon. Don't give me someone you only just hired. This is a menial task. You need to trust, Orange, please. Okay, fine. I'll take your rookie train or tamer, but don't say I didn't warn you when both of us get stuck under that lake. Hey, newbie, meet me outside the city at once. Chop, chop. She definitely looks like she'd be a gym leader, but I guess there's no gyms in this game, so maybe she's something else. <clears throat> that brat is a Nexomite miner. The lake she normally works at has unexpectedly frozen over and hostile Nexomon have been sighted nearby for one reason or another. You just need to escort her while she does her job. Orange, that's all there is to it. Sounds simple enough. We might even find some cool Nexomon around the lake. Yes, that's the spirit. Not bad for your very first assignment, right? I can take you outside the city right now, or you may explore Param a bit more if you'd like. What shall we do? Hey, let's go, man. We pretty much explored the city already, so I think we're good. 
Yo, what's up, Jack Jack and Cam Cam? We got Jack Jack and Cam Cam. The double names. This girl looks kind of cute too. Her little kimono and whatever's going on with her hair there. You should check out the Drake Isle someday. Dude, I feel like if I was in Nexomon, I would definitely be from the Drake Isles. I'm liking their vibe so far. Or like the style, I guess you could say. But uh, this girl wants a rematch already, so let's do that. And of course, we're not healed up again. Are you kidding me? Darn it. Enjoy my spot while you can. I'll kick you out someday, I swear. All right, we desperately need to heal up right now. But I'm not even sure where to do it, to be honest. There's got to be somewhere in the city that we can heal, right? Before we head out, maybe we should visit the healing center in the general store. You can buy some Nexo traps. Yeah, you've got the right idea, cat. I like that we've got a little companion since we've got like a silent protagonist. It kind of allows the game to give us like dialogue without our main character talking. Uh, what does this lady got for us though? Let's do it. Marvelous. So here's the deal. I want you to check out every nook and cranny of the city for garbage. Bring me enough trash and I'll give you something nice. Okay. We get another vault key. Didn't someone earlier say there's only nine vaults? So, like, we're going to get another vault key already? Oh, my God. What is this? Nurse Joy's been upgraded. Yo. <laughs> Using powerful Himalayan salt lamps, our free healing service can restore your Nexomon in no time. Why don't you try healing your orange pet? <laughs> oh, right. You see that computer over there? That's the storage console. Use it to deposit and withdraw your Nexomon. Have a nice day. Take care now. Yeah, we got to get ourselves that rubby so we can sell it. Heal me up, though. What is this thing's name? I want to know. Robot Joy? Unless someone in chat has, like, a cute unofficial name for her. Maybe, uh... Robo-chan? Healer-chan? <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. I, I kind of feel like she might be a Nexomon that we can get later on. Follow your next Nexomon Faint, you can choose to reload your last save or respawn from a nearby checkpoint. Oh, so maybe it is a game over after all. Wait, we haven't even saved the game once yet, I just realized. Doesn't it auto-save? I'm pretty sure it has to auto-save. Yeah, it did. We got 74 Reputation, 9 Nexomon. Oh, we can disable auto-save though. That's actually pretty nice too. That they at least have the option to auto-save or not. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and grab our Rubby from the PC. Uh, maybe ditch Fanling. Haven't really used it all that much. Or Skun Q, since we would have two normal types. But then again, we're going to sell off the Rubby soon anyway, so... I'm going to keep the Skun Q. Nexo Mom! <laughs> I like that. Mom, with an M, by the way, to clarify. Not Mon, like the creatures in the game. Uh, but here's some garbage. I wonder how much of it we got to pick up before she gives us that, uh, vault key or whatever. Robo Joy? Joybot? Both of those are pretty good, too. Nexo Mom is definitely... Well, it's kind of easy to confuse Nexo Mon and Mom. Mum. Maybe if we called her Mum. You know, a little British ting. Nexo Mum. Picking up garbage. My dream job, man. We're really doing it, guys. We're finally a real tamer. I'm pretty sure this person wasn't here earlier, though, was it? Don't know who put them there. I found a lot of treasures. I bet there are still some chests out there. Yeah, we found quite a lot of them already. But, uh... Right now, we're just looking for garbage. Even in the bushes, dude. What is up with this city? I was about to say it really is Chicago, but to be honest, Chicago is one of the cleanest cities that I've ever been in. That's one of the reasons why I love living here, too. Like, uh, I know Steven's in New York. Wait, are you in New York City or upstate? Either way, you've probably been to New York City. And the thing I hate the most about New York is, like, how they just leave the garbage on the side of the streets. And, like, you can always smell it in the city. It just smells like garbage. I know New York is not the only city that's like that, though, but... Uh, Chicago, I don't know how they do it, but they have a really good, like, street cleanup, uh, system or whatever. 
So like if you ever go walk around, you'll barely see any garbage on the streets and this it just smells really nice. And like it actually smells clean, which is crazy for a city, I feel. You can smell the fresh air while still being in the hustle and bustle. I heard that Khan Woods may have been the birthplace of Olzar, the legendary hero. Cool story, bro. I don't actually know what's over here. I'm gonna guess they're gonna stop us. Yep. You don't have an access card, do ya? Only authorized personnel may enter the Western Woods. Where can we get one? Only scientists are granted such a privilege. Even guild tamers are forbidden from visiting. What? Nah, that's, that's a lie, bro. We're definitely gonna be able to go here at some point. For now, though, I guess we'll keep looking for garbage. Dang, this city is huge, dude. I didn't expect there to be even more over here. Yo, we got a chest right here. How has no one picked this up? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I know that it's just a game mechanic, but still, it feels kind of weird that there's just a chest in the middle of the city that no one happened to pick up. Uh, but I'm going to guess that there's actually no more garbage in this area. It's probably just the first main two sections of it. See, as soon as I say it's over for Pixel or Nexomon, y'all are ready for the Persona. Which I'm pretty hyped for too, but I guess because this is a new game, I'm like really excited to play more of it. But I don't know if it's going to be like a mainstay on the stream. I guess that's up to you guys. Oh, we got more garbage over here. Okay. Guess we're not quite done with that quest. Actually, we haven't even explored this part of the city yet. There's no one with exclamation marks above their head, though. Or stars, I mean. Those are the people that actually give us, like, the side quests. The Frozen Tundra. You mean the Crown Tundra, right? All these people seem to be getting it confused, man. I don't get it. I'm gonna guess this is the last section where we can pick up garbage, though. So that might actually be it for that side quest. Ooh. Hey, we got another chest. Don't mind if I do the woozy companion. I don't know what those do, actually. We got another one earlier, didn't we? It doesn't even show up in our inventory, though. That's what really confuses me. Yeah, it's not even here. What the heck, man? What do we do with these companions that we've been getting? I feel like you guys like PokeMMO more because there's more, like, interacting... Like, you guys can actually play it along with me, whereas this is a purely single-player experience. I don't know, I feel like this would actually be perfect for, like, just a Let's Play on my channel, but since we're doing Insurgents right now... Probably not the best timing. I'll probably do a Nuzlocke of this on my main channel eventually. <laughs> like, maybe for my second playthrough or something, I don't know. I might just play it every once in a while on stream. Not like every stream or every week, but... Whoa, look at this guy! He's pumped up! You heading to the Drake Isles? You sure about that? So many tamers underestimate how hard it is to capture a dragon. I can sell you something that'll help you out a bit. Take a look. I feel like this game would actually be really sick if it was online also. Uh, we actually can get the dragon whistle. Let's do it. Maybe we can head to the Drake Isles after all. I don't know what level the Nexomons over there are going to be, though. Uh, I'm kind of scared that if we actually go in the airship, we won't be able to come back. So many trainers travel here just to catch dragons. And they fail to understand that dragons have their disadvantages as well. Nah, come on, come on. What are you talking about? Dragons are the most powerful of all. Especially if fairies don't exist in this world. This girl's got the face mask on. She's the only one practicing the proper Corona etiquette. Come on. What's going on here? Welcome. We need a ticket. It's a one-time purchase. You can travel all you want with just one ticket. How much is the ticket then? 200 coins? Hey, that's nothing, dude. Give me that. Let's go to the Drake Isles right now, man. Let's wrap up this uh, Nexomon first stream of it by heading on over there, because everyone knows Dragon is the best type, right? 
I noticed that you're not a silver tamer yet, which is the recommended ranking, but you can still come if you insist. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we got enough garbage. Boom! Nice! Amazing! We got another vault key. Which I still don't know what those are used for. I don't think we've seen any of the vaults yet, but we've got two keys. So whenever we finally find a vault, I hope the reward is worth it. For picking up all that garbage, lady. I ain't doing these garbage man duties for free, you know. But let's see where the story takes us next. Oh, the miner girl, that's right. Rookie, what took you so long? Are you ready? Is your party healed? You got items? Gosh, I feel like I'm the one escorting you! A bronze tamer. Ugh. <laughs> the little crying emoji. I'm ready! Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Come on, I'll show you the way to the lake. Because I bet you haven't got the faintest idea how to get there. Nope. Not at all. I thought we weren't supposed to go to these outlands yet, though. I don't know, this area is pretty high level compared to our current team. I don't know if we're quite ready for this. How are you so slow? How are you so fast? The lake is down this way. Don't go anywhere else, you hear me? Bro, it feels like the Persona is calling to me right now. Not only do we have Coco, who's basically Mona, but that girl is basically Futaba with like the goggles going on. Uh, but this guy wanted to trade for, uh... Oh, it was a whistle, actually. I thought it was, uh, a core. I mean, I'll get it anyway. And we're actually still here inside of the guild. Because I think we have some side quests that we can do. Do you have a moment? The guild has teamers stationed all over the world, but the tyrants are depleting our supplies. Oh yeah, this is what people meant. So, like... I mean, I don't know what I can do about me covering the character's head. I, if I move the camera over there to that corner, it covers, like, the Nexomon stats and stuff, so I think it's better to keep it here. The tyrants are depleting our supplies faster than we can replenish them. May I ask you for a hand delivering some items to our comrades? Where are the comrades at? Sure. Fantastic. We get a supply box. They must be delivered to a small outpost in the outlands to the east. You can't miss it, really. Somehow I'm gonna end up missing it, dude. Watch. Oh, but we get an experience core from it. Uh, which is basically like a lucky egg. It boosts the experience that you get on your Nexomons. But yeah, I've actually been doing a lot of research on this game. Or not really research, I've just been playing it a lot more on my own time. Um, on the Nintendo Switch. And then also I've been playing the uh, first game, the mobile one. And I don't know, it's just making me more and more into Nexomon as a franchise, I guess. So I've learned a couple of things. One thing, first of all, is I think they actually did an update on the PC version. I don't know if on the Switch version yet, but PC and PS4 should have an update where now there's also EXP share in the game, basically. What is this guy, though? Ooh, or girl? Maybe? I don't know. Are you a tamer for real? Yeah, for real, for real. What's wrong, though? Please, can't you see? Isn't it obvious? No. Do you not have a Nexomon? Uh, bruh, she really just roasted our team like that. Are you kidding me? I have a keen eye for talent, and right now I see nothing but a charade. But fear not. Competent tamers know how to teach skills to their Nexomon. So let me teach your Nexomon for you. Oh, so he's like a TM tutor. Move tutor, not a TM. Sure. Let's see what you got then. Uh, I just realized how low level we are too. Damn, we're like barely getting started here, but that's fine. Never stop improving, Orange. And when you fail, come to me. Okay. Not really what I was trying to show off, but that's cool that they got that there. That was definitely not there last time. Or that person wasn't there. Um, but back here, there was a building that I didn't explore. I don't know if it was this one? Aha! Welcome to Param Synthesis Center. If you're here to synthesize cores, speak with Bonnie at the back. Remember to bring your own elemental shards. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Um, ever since we got our pickaxe and we break those shards, you can actually combine those into cores, which you can then equip onto your Nexomon. And they just recently added onto the game 
I think... Wait, was this one? Yeah, okay, yeah, these were definitely in it already. And we got the EXP cores, and then these white ones here are the new ones. So it's basically like an EXP share. Copies 8% of the EXP received by other team members. Wait, it copies the... Whoa, okay, so it's even better than an EXP share. Because it doesn't split the experience between the two Nexomon. It actually just gives you double what you would normally get. Oh, well, not double, but 25%. But if you equip four of these cores onto a single Nexomon, each one is 25%. So basically, you'd get 100% of the experience copied over to that Nexomon. So if you stack those up, it can be really OP for just trading up quick. But right now, I mean, we don't actually have that much. One last thing is I think in this building, we were trying to fight this guy, but he ended up kicking our butt. So maybe we can try that again. Excuse me, you got some time to spare? Yes, we do. I think when we originally fought him, my team was like at half health. So maybe second time's the charm. You know, the one thing I haven't learned yet, though, is the type advantages. Wait, what is this? R3. Waiting. Oh, wait, what? Did they add that now? <gasps> oh, that was definitely not a thing before. You can't see it because of my cam, but if you press R3, I think you can rest for a turn if you're out of stamina, which is actually something that I thought was kind of weird that the game didn't have, um, but Temtem has it because they both have a stamina system, but... In this game, you couldn't rest when you're out of stamina. I guess now you can, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that was basically the only thing that I was like, kind of the battle system felt weird or off because that wasn't a thing. But now that they added that, man, battle system is perfect. I just realized this guy has 38 HP. Oh my God. It's going to take us a minute to beat him down. But I think Stinger's got it eventually. Deals fire type damage with high accuracy. Yeah, explosion's definitely our best spell right now. We're like Megumin out here. Oh god, was she going for the Hyphoon or he? I think actually wind is also... Or no. Is wind weak to fire? Or is fire weak to wind? I'm still not that good at the type advantages in this game, but... I think electric should be good. You know, a bird getting hit by a lightning shock. Never a good thing. The other thing that kind of confuses me about this game, though, is how it doesn't ever say super effective. It just says effective instead. Ooh, super punch. I wonder if that'll be enough to knock it out. Oh, barely. Come on, scare tick. Y'all almost had it, man. Oh, God. These guys are so weak. <laughs> All right, Rubby, you got this. The double slash. Oh, my God. Rubby's OP, dude. The level four. <laughs> Rubby's too good. Okay, but I don't know how the heck we're going to beat this thing. Might as well take the chance to just heal up. Um, Stinger, maybe? Or Scaretic. Maybe Scaretic. So this is like Lumion Legacy. I mean, isn't Lumion Legacy like Pokemon? <laughs> Why not just say this is like Pokemon? <laughs> hmm, let's go back to Scaretic then. I don't... I think that the Psychic types... Or whatever that type technically is. I think it is Psychic, actually. But I think they're weak to Ghost. And maybe other Psychic? I don't know. That wouldn't really make sense. I'm pretty sure the only thing that I know of, at least, that they're weak to is Ghost. But they're not hit... They're not very effective against Normal. Or Normal's not very effective against them. So we should definitely just keep going for Electric moves. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage, dude. Uh, scare tick. Oh yeah, I forget. Moves also have speed, right here. Some moves are slower than others, which is a pretty cool difference to traditional Pokemon, basically. Ooh, we dodged it. Nice. One more twin electrode. Nope, almost knocked it out. Uh, that's fine, though. That means our starter, Gekoko, here is going to end up getting the experience for knocking it out. With the lightning roar. Which is actually a pretty slow move, but it does some high damage. So, there we go. Damn, basically only Stinger and Gekoko got the EXP for that. 
But hey, they both level up. So I'll take it. Yeah, we definitely need the training right now. Big fan of Twitch. What a name, dude. <laughs> Psychic is weak to bug and dark. Okay, this ain't... Uh, never mind, bro. <laughs> it's a little bit different in this game. Um, for starters, there's no bug or dark types. If family finds out that I let a bunch of ancient radioactive mutant disease clone Nexomon into the wild, she'll go nuts! Jeez, so how did we find them? A special kind of lure. As long as you're holding it, they'll find you in the wild. But it's a tad expensive to produce. If you could provide the funding, I can give you one for sure. What? So not only did we have to beat this man, but now he wants our money too? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, a thousand coins, bro? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to come back for that. Oh yeah, I've heard of Ooblets. I haven't played it yet, though, but that'd be interesting to check out on stream sometime. I know it's on the Epic Games Store, but I don't know if it's made by Epic Games. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for everything here in the city. How many Nexo Traps do we have, though? That's the most important thing. 13 of them, not bad. Could always use more, though. So let's stock up on those before we head out. Oh wait, we've never even been to the... Wow. Cooper, what's up, man? <laughs> so good to see new faces in my store. So what do we have here? A rookie and uh Oh, one of those. <laughs> oh, it's because the cat, dude. He doesn't like the cat. That's hilarious. Coco, no. He throwing the shade eyes. I'll be outside, Orange. Wow. That's crazy, dude. He don't like the cat. Welcome, welcome. You stock all sorts of items. Potions, antidotes. Okay, we get we get the gist, man. You kicked out our cat friend. Now you better give us a discount or something. Or not. Wow. Wait, Coco's back. Oh. Back inside of us, I guess. Elemental Nexo traps can be very expensive, so some tamers prefer to craft them instead. I heard the Drake Isles in Palmaya are places with skilled crafters. I don't know if we should actually do some exploring in this episode or if we should just try to do the story. Um, but this guy wants us to grab our pickaxe and shovel. Uh-oh. Creeper. What do you got for us, bro? Sell shards? Really? I want to buy shards, if anything, dude. I'm definitely not selling the few ones that we've got. Well, F. Cooper, man. His prices are way too high. I'm sure we can find less expensive items elsewhere. Wait a minute. I just walked right past that girl. She got a bird on her head. This road leads to the Outlands. Mad Nexomon, Bandit, and Tyrants wreak havoc. Yeah, that's actually where we're going to head off to next. But I don't think... Yeah, I didn't explore this house in the last stream. So might as well do it now. Hey, more free Nexo traps, dude. This, these things actually are not that easy to come by compared to Pokeballs where you can just buy a million for cheap. Nexo traps are actually pretty rare. So I'm glad we got some for free there. Apparently Ghost and Psychic are the only things that are super effective against normal ones. Which we don't have either of those types yet, so... We'll just keep flambeing him with Stinger out here. I really like Stinger so far though. I haven't seen its evolution yet either. There we go. Can we get the level up? Oh, the double level up again! Get Coco getting the pummel. Wait, we already have pummel. What? Why is he learning pummel if we already have pummel? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, I mean, we'll get rid of pummel for pummel then. And Stinger gets nothing. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, carry on with your business. Okay, Red. Actually, he doesn't look right, like Red. He looks like... um. Terry, I think it is. He's in Smash Bros, but I forgot what game he's from. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the outpost that the guild lady was telling us about. So maybe in here? Aha! You brought supplies from the capital. Why, well, yes, we have. And we get the EXP core for it. Thank you. Sorry that they assigned you such a menial task. Truly. I gave you a fairly good experience core, though. Equip it to an Examon to increase the experience they get. Anyway, we owe you one. Nice. I'm glad we don't have to walk all the way back to the 
guild to get our reward for that. Oh, apparently she disappears. Okay. See ya.